What's up everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad89 here bringing you another video and today we're here to talk about season one of Chucky. It is completely done. It's in the bag. It is confirmed we are going to be getting season two next year. So I'm excited about that. We're definitely going to get a continuation. So that's a good thing. But we're definitely going to get into some spoilers today. So if you haven't seen the show, you have to go run out and binge it and then come back and check out this video and talk about it with me. So let's get into this. Roll it. Chucky Season 1 was the new TV series featuring Chucky from Child's Play. It's on Sci-Fi and USA. Those were the networks that you could catch it on. So let's get into this right away. We're going to be talking about spoilers and all kinds of stuff, so be ready. So for me, I definitely, first off, like right off the bat, I had a better time with this show than the previous two films like curse and cult like i just wasn't really down with those ones as much and i still have yet to see the child's play like reboot or remake one that they did i didn't see that one where mark hamill voiced uh chucky i didn't see that one so for curse and cult those ones i really wasn't down with so i was a little nervous about this tv show in the first place because don mancini is the head creator of the show and he did all the previous films when it comes to Chucky, in terms of my realm, I'm more of a Child's Play 1, 2, 3 type fan. Everything after that, it kind of dips in quality for me, so I'm not the hugest Chucky fan out there. But as I said, I definitely had a better time with this show than the previous two movies. Like the introduction of some of the new characters like Jake, Lexi, Devin, Jr., I liked all the good young cast coupled with that they brought in the legacy characters from the from the films like Andy you know and Kyle and all that kind of stuff Jennifer Tilly's back too so it was really cool to just see them all together and I think the characters really did blend well it has that quirky weird nature that you kind of want in a child's play show but there's also some growth and some serious themes throughout the show too but in terms of writing, I think that's where the show kind of falls apart a little bit. Don Mancini, he's kind of weak in his writing sometimes, and it's just the lines that he writes for his characters. And sometimes when you're working with child actors, you can tell they're talented. You can tell these child actors are pretty talented. But when you're working with them, they're not always the best at delivering lines. So when you have weak writing coupled with the child actors, it doesn't really help sometimes. And then we're on to Chucky, man. Like, oh, his the action, the puppetry action, the different versions of Chucky that we got to see throughout the show being like a half burnt, like melted Chucky, you know, Chucky's head cut off and he's still talking. Like, there's just certain different types of dolls throughout the show. And they really like it's cool how they play with the different designs and stuff. And if you didn't know previously, if you haven't watched the films, that's another thing I would say is kind of like a negative with this show is you really have to have watched the previous films to understand what's going on in the show that, you know, Charles Lee Ray was able to splinter his soul into, you know, Nika and the Chucky doll. And now he's working at trying to splinter his cell into a lot of other dolls. So that kind of stuff is only dived into and you learn about in the previous two films so you really have to dive into the movies before you get into this tv show but it is all a connective story so that's what's kind of cool too is what's really fun compared to like um halloween franchise where it kind of splinters off and does all these different like timelines chucky the child's play timeline is one stretch timeline of connectivity so if you're a huge fan and you've been watching them since the first one and you're all the way through I think you'll have a little bit better time with this show too than like the more layman viewer because you're going to understand a lot of the references and stuff like that. Another thing we did have that I'm kind of mixed on with the show was that we had a lot of flashback scenes. Some of the flashback scenes I really enjoyed, but I think towards the end of the show, they became more of like filler type stuff that I, we really didn't need. I did like the earlier stuff about young Charles Lee Ray and him meeting Eddie Caputo and all that kind of stuff like that. Those earlier ones, but as we got later into the series, I think they were just more like filler stuff and everything, and we didn't really need as many as we got in terms of the flashbacks. But it's really cool, too, to see Fiona Dorf in this show. We have her as Nika back, and she plays young Charles Lee Ray. So Fiona Dorf is just a great actress. She has such a good range, and I think she really shows it in this show. Don Mancini did a really good job of using the legacy characters in this TV show. As I said, Andy is another one that comes back, and he's one of my favorites. So it's just really cool when you see him able to balance the new characters and old characters and he does very well in creating a story and bringing them all together and it does make sense 
One other main negative, though, that I did have with the show is, like I said, Don Mancini, his writing is sometimes it's uh, it's a little weak. And sometimes when I'm watching the TV show, there's certain character arcs throughout the TV show that don't make sense at the end. They're, you know, character motivations or certain things like that are stated in the show. And then how we end up at the end of the series, it just didn't make sense. So some of that, it didn't connect i don't know we're gonna wrap up more in season two because they left a lot of loose end type stuff you know what i mean at the end but one of my favorite arcs in the show probably because it went complete all full circle in season one and we got to see it done and now he's gone so that kind of sucks that he's gone but junior i really think junior was a bad ass storyline i liked his character i think he's a slam dunk really good out of the child actors i think junior was the best i think he really was he was a character that you could kind of get like you're not really behind you're like like, what's with this whiny little baby? And then to see how he comes into full circle and his storyline ends in that last episode with Chucky and stuff and Lexi and they're standing behind the Frankenstein, like the, the movie screen, like oh, it was just, it was beautiful. And then he stabs Chucky. Chucky gets him in the heart. I was like, damn, fuck, man. Like Junior was my favorite. He just became my favorite literally in that scene. And then to see him go out like that, I was like, dang. So Don Mancini, I think he did Junior really good. Like, that was an iconic character I think I will always remember. And that will be a key part of why I like season one a lot. But we'll see what happens in season two and where they pick up because a lot of stuff got left hanging, like all the dolls on the truck. We now have 72 Chucky dolls in the back of a truck. What's going to happen with them? Andy has possession of them. But now, you know, Jennifer Tilly, the doll, is there. Like, you know, Tiffany's doll, like, she's alive, and she's there with the gun to Andy's head. So we'll see what happens with that. Jennifer Tilly has Nika and, like, that situation. That was a dark way to end it. That was a dark way to put Nika in, and it's going to be wild to see what happens with that because Jennifer Tilly, she's kind of like, you know, she's used to having, like, dolls as lovers and being with a doll kind of thing. So like to have Nika and she's like completely paraplegic now because she has no arms, no legs, like just dismembered. You're like, damn, like Jennifer Tilly really went the dark route. Or Tiffany, she really went the dark route. It's so hard when I'm talking about that character because she's like, it's like fourth dimensional wall breaking with her. But oh man, yeah, they left Nika in a dark place for sure. But overall in my book, like I had a really good time with this show. Like I said, a lot better time than I did with the previous two movies. In my book, the Chucky season one TV show is going to get a 7.5 out of 10. Some really good kills. Awesome Chucky action. We got some cool young new characters that got introduced. Our legacy characters coming back. I think where the show kind of falls apart though and it doesn't reach to that 8 or 9 range is because of the writing and some of the character motivations don't make sense at the last episode. You know what I mean? Episode 8 was actually kind of a one I was a little mediocre on the finale like I liked some stuff in it was really badass but then there was other things that kind of fell flat for me so I was like ah, it wasn't as strong as some of the other episodes that I've seen previously in the show but still I'm eager to see season two we're going to be getting it next year so in the comment section let me know you all what you thought of season one of Chucky are you excited for season two like ah, I can't wait like I am like I can't wait I, I think October is really far away to be waiting for this i think it's going to be october or september time when it's coming out so thanks for sticking around with me all for this chat spoiler chat of chucky season one have a safe and happy day everyone peace out